I got up pretty early today and I just was lounging in bed for a really long time and then I got super hungry and so I got down to my bunk because I'm a top bunk and I started talking to this girl who's in my dorm and I told her that I was going to this vegan place and so now we're going together and I'm really excited and I love my vegan place and get my smoothie bowl or honestly I'll get something else, I don't know. The entire place has an amazing menu, as you know. I've been there like 10 times. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grab. Decided to try something new and got the Tokyo Bowl. Oh my god. Breakfast was so good, but I decided that I wanted to come to a little cafe to get some work done. So I'm gonna get some work done. And I got a nice little tea. So excited. Because it's fall season, I decided to do something a little bit more fall. <laughs> there we go. And I got an apple hibiscus tea. Look at how pretty it is. It's so pretty. Oh my god, that tastes so fall. It's so good. It is 5.12. I have been here since maybe 1.12, 1. 12, 1. I have gotten so much work done. I've updated the money charts, I've checked emails, I edited so much stuff. Today has been so productive and my computer's about to die, which I think is a good sign of me heading out. And I might go for a walk back in Hanoi or, I don't know, we'll see. I do have to pack, I need to repack all my stuff because I pack pretty inefficiently when I left it in. So, and we're flying tomorrow. I packed all my stuff, my suitcase is packed, my backpack is packed and I should probably head to sleep soon because I need to be up at 4.30 in the morning to leave Mad Monkey by five. So I'm hanging out in my bed and Wales, if you're watching this, I'm currently watching your podcast because I don't even know why. I swear, like, it just like pops in my head that you have a podcast every like once in a while and I'll like go watch them, so. So I'm sitting here editing the vlog and I realized I didn't even explain what the heck happened after that clip. So here we go. At 1.30, I decide that I'm starving and I can't sleep. I don't know why I can't sleep, but I can't sleep. So I walk down my bunk and I start talking to the girl who I went to breakfast with and I was like, yo, you hungry? And she's like, yeah. So we both go out and get banh mi sandwiches at my favorite banh mi place. Then we come back to the room and she gets a text message from a friend who was like, oh my God, I just saw you walk past me. Like, let's go out. So then she's like, hey, like, wanna go out? I'm like, no, I have to be up at 4.30. Like, I can't go out, like, whatever. After realizing that at this point, it's like 2.15, um, there was no sleep that was going to happen. Honestly, if there was sleep, it would just be considered a nap. So I was convinced to go out. I wind up going out and we're having a really good time, whatever, and I'm at this club and I turn around and lo and behold, Wales is right behind me and I was like, oh my god, like hello, like what? I knew he was in Hanoi, but because he flew in at super late and I was supposed to be up super early, I just, the chances of us seeing each other was like zero. And I wound up seeing him and it was so crazy. Anyways, we get back from the club and I grab my suitcases and I basically just head to the airport. 